I want to eat the best burger in Singapore. And that brought me to One Fatten Calf, a little burger restaurant in the business park to try their OFC cheeseburger. Being a foodie for as long as I have, you can tell how good the food is going to be just by looking at the storefront. What do you mean, Eldrick? Let's do some detective work. Firstly, in a rather small restaurant, most of the space is being occupied by equipment. They even have their own bread proofing machine and an electric oven. These are huge expenses considering you can make a burger simply by having an $80 electric grill from Amazon. You might be thinking, what's the big deal about that, Eldrick? I've come across dozens of restaurants with kitchens more sophisticated than this. That's true. Except one fatten calf only serves burgers. And literally, only 5 versions of it. That means the owners are dropping, what, 5 digits worth of money just on equipment to make burgers for you. Which leads me to believe one of two things. One, they're laundering money. And two, they care. People think of cooking with love as this magical, fairy dust, ooga booga concept, but it's actually very tangible. Cooking with love is paying attention to the details so that the person that you're cooking for gets the best experience. Things like using a patented wrapper so that all of the juices are contained and don't drip all over your diner. Or making your buns in-house so that you can control the exact texture you want. These buns are really nice, it's soft to the touch but has a pretty strong gluten network which allows them to stand up to the juices of the patties. Cooking with love also means cutting your pickles, onions and chard onions into thin slices and slivers so that they all have an equal chance to shine on the palate. And I'm surprised it took me 5 videos for me to finally talk about this. Crust! These burgers are cooked over the griddle and then torched to get a crust on the patty, which gives it so much flavour. This is a texture you'll normally find with smashed patties, but I don't see why normal burgers like this cannot have a similar kind of crust. Even something like having their initials branded onto their burger buns lets you know that they are proud of their work. Biting into it feels like you're eating a burger made for you. You feel like asking them, do we, do we know each other? Unfortunately, just like your last relationship or deciding who does the chores in a marriage, sometimes even love is not enough. The buns are too bready for a single patty burger like the OFC butter burger. Even with the juicy patty and the extra greasiness from the butter, I still find myself chewing on bread towards the end of the burger. Which might be intended, but I'm not a fan. Wait, 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 Eldrick, why are we talking about the butter burger now? Because of the lighting in the restaurant. There are cool lights coming from here and warm lights above the eating area. Which means the camera cannot white balance properly, giving it a terrible tone. So I decided to buy and eat another burger just because I wanted the visuals to be good for you guys. So why not subscribe? It's free. I earn about 30 cents a video with this couple of hundreds of views. So with your help, maybe I'll be able to earn 60 cents the next video. Anyway, back to the butter burger. It was supposed to be the featured burger since I thought it was pretty special. But biting into it almost made me laugh. Previously, I talked about wanting my patty to be cooked in a little bit more beef fat or butter. I would have appreciated it if the patty was cooked with more butter or beef fat. But now I have an entire slab of butter in my burger. It's such an ingenious solution. Like if it works, it's not stupid. And it definitely works. You can have salted butter with breads, meats, even fruits. And I kid you not, it'll taste good. This is like using a hand drill to blend yourself a cup of juice. It's crude. But it works. I was also surprised to find out how thin the cheese slices were, such that when they are melted, they disappear into the patty, which in itself does give the patty a rather enjoyable texture, but sacrifices the gooey, cheesy texture you might expect from a double cheeseburger. It doesn't help visually as well, since you don't see the melty cheese. I also want to mention that the beef quality is quite mediocre, but it's very intelligently elevated by the crust. $23 for a double cheeseburger is not cheap, but it is very fair. So verdict, one burger, I'll go and have this burger if I happen to be within walking distance. 
Two burgers. I'll take a couple of bus rides to have this burger. And three burgers. I'll go and have this burger no matter where I am in Singapore. And one fattened calf is... Two burgers. This was such a joy to eat. You can sense the amount of thought that went into the various components of the burger. And it feels really, really nice to be on the receiving end of someone putting in the effort to make something good for you. I'll definitely go for the double patty option to make full use of the in-house buns. But other than that, I believe that it'll be a good time anyhow. And that is also all I have for you guys this time. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.